What up, what up, y'all? It's Ricky Smith, writer, comedian, activist in my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a good friend, Stina. Hey, y'all. You are a? Artist, muralist, entrepreneur, mom. We're going to Little Arabia. Size Bakery. Amazing place. Have you been before? I have not. Do you have any money? I do. All right, you're paying. Let's go. My name is Mike Asad, and I'm an owner of Asad's Bakery, along with my brother Fred. My parents came from Jerusalem in the late 60s. We were one of the first uh, full-scale Arab-American food stores here. My father and my mother was involved, and my sister was involved. He opened up his supermarket, we opened up the bakery here at 89 together. We supply the community with uh, a full line of Arabic and Mediterranean food stores. And here we are, 33 years later. Mike, hey, what's Ricky. going on, sir? Yeah. I'm good. Yourself. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi. Mike Asad, nice to meet you. We're gonna let you try to make a falafel sandwich. Okay. Appreciate I'm ready that. to. Uh, I don't know why you said try. I'm gonna succeed. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna close it for no, us. My parents are from Jerusalem, so whenever I visit over there, I go to the spot in the old city. And I, the first thing that comes to my mind is to go to the, eat that falafel. So I wanted to see if I can match that falafel. And I, you know, we've had a lot of good feedback. Let's see. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, you gotta keep it tight, though, Ricky. Keep it tight. I got it tight. There got you go. Always with the cut. I don't know. You gotta have it. Right there. Oh, 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 Look at the sizzle oh, on that, buddy. Oh, it's sizzling. Oh, 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 These are called katayafs. We make this for Ramadan. This is a pastry stuffed with either walnuts and cinnamon, and this one is just with the cheese. This is our holy month of Ramadan. It's a month of fasting from sunset to sunrise. The, the reason why we do it is just so we can feel empathetic with people who don't have enough to eat or don't have enough to drink. And it also, it's good for the cleansing for the spirit also. Cleveland is a great city. It's a melting pot of different cultures and nationalities. You know, we want to develop relationships, you know, because I want people to be comfortable when they come in here and, and be happy. I know how to greet in many, many languages. In Greek, you say Takani, Spanish, Como estas? Yugoslavian, Kakosi, Farsi, Chitori, Arabic, Ahlan wa Sahlan, Salamu Alaikum. They, they become your friends and family, and you know, that's, that's important. This is amazing. If people just talked and sat and ate together, you know, or you know, just brought food and sat down, that I think everybody would see that we're all the same. Everything feels so fresh, tastes so fresh, and then you can actually almost taste like every individual like ingredient in here. I'm like, I'm amazed. You not only just helped us out in Cleveland, but yes. probably the world is watching to know these dishes here. So thank you guys, viewers, people that's watching in Cleveland and from out of town. You come to town, come to, what's the address? Asad's Bakery, 12719 Lorraine Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio.